guys, how's it going? Made another video to talk about sanding and uh, painting and priming and stuff like that. Uh, it's just a quick uh, audio. Completely, I'm just going to talk about it. At, uh, later on, I'll, I'll give a better demonstration, uh, an actual visual. But we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to talk about sandpaper. Okay, this is 80 grit. You start out with 80 grit and make it easier to get to uh, the base. And then you want to start working your way down. The farther you go, you want to start using uh, you know, higher grit sandpaper. Go from 80 to 100, 120, you know, 500, 800, 1500. You're gonna you, 1500 be fantastically good enough for for armor. Absolutely. Because they use 1500 in the auto business to, to give good paint jobs. Now, after you get all your, your bono work done and everything's, you know, smooth and straight and all the dips and, and waves are out of it and all that stuff, or at least as much as you can get out of it where it's good to your satisfaction, uh, you're, you're at the 1500 grit process. When you get the 1500 grit, that's going to be wet dry sandpaper. Because at the end, you're going to want to wet sand. That will give you the best look for your helmet. I mean, you spent a lot of hours, spent a lot of work on this. You, you know, it's your baby. You know, especially if you, you, you want you want to look the best you can. Wet sanding. Bucket soap and water. You dip the sandpaper in there. It's wrapped around the block. And you go over it with the sandpaper. Just give it its nice, you know, its final sheen far as, uh, before you go to paint it. And then after that, after it's dried off and everything, go ahead and take the rubbing alcohol, wipe it down, get all the dirt and grease and stuff from your fingers off of it. Make sure you wash your hands. Um, and then you'll paint it. Spray paint is perfectly fine. You do not need an air gun to do your helmet. You know, stenciling is, is a perfect way to decal your helmet. You know, some guys may be a lot more talented and they can go ahead and do the airbrushing. You really don't need to. It's, it's a bit overboard. Um, but if you can do it, great. But, you know, stencils and good old regular, you know, painting tricks will go. So what you ha will happen is you do your first coat of paint. You let it set and dry the enti uh, entire 24 hours right until the next day before you touch it again. You're going to take that wet sanding process again and scuff that paint up a little bit before you put you probably want to at least put three layers of paint uh, on your helmet. Now I'm going to talk about how to do different effects and the thing and, and the kind of priming that you want to do for you. You can use different colored paints for your primer if you're looking to get different effects, but most of your primer colors are either black, gray, or white. Now you go with gray or black when you're using darker colors for 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 your oh, for your painting color for your for your helmet. Like if you're using the darker green, you want to either go with a gray or a black primer. Now if you're going like more candy colors, you're going with a brighter color. You're gonna want to use like a white white paint or a white primer. Now if you if you want to go for different effects like on your helmet, like. A lot of people like doing battle scarring and stuff like that and scuffs on their helmet. There's two ways to do it. I can go ahead and use uh, silver paint for my primer before I use my main color. And then when I go back over it, I can scuff it. And then what happens is that primer will show up, that, that silver primer will show up and scuff with the paint. And it will make it look a little bit more realistic. Now, another way you can do it to give it that, 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 like, like, how can I say that, dramatic, like, uh, like, movie scarring, you just go ahead and take a paintbrush after you're done with your, uh, with your paint job, and use the different type of metallic paint that you want to use to make it look like what's the metal underneath, and you just kind of give it little brush strokes, you know, you can get artistic that way, which is another good way to do it, you know, but, you know, I, I actually like the actual scuffing method My, myself. It adds a little texture to it. You want to make it look like it's really battle-worn and not just pretty. Um, but either way, it will look fantastic, you know? And uh, 
I would either go with a semi-gloss or a flat paint because it's armor. I mean, you can't do do a gloss over it if it's going to be a, a showpiece more than anything else. Then you think you know, then, then by all means go ahead and go the rest of the way out and go ahead and give it a clear coat. But three coats of paint in between each coat, you want to wet sand it a little bit. You know, I'm telling you, it's the best way for the best results as far as painting goes. I'm I'm still um doing the bondo work on my helmet. My fix worked really well for my soft spot. Everything's nice and solid now. I don't have to worry about it cracking or warping on me, you know, messing up my paint job or my bondo work. Now, I screwed up really bad on this side of this, the, on this side of the build when I was putting the 3D paper model together. You know, I didn't line something up quite right, but I did manage to get the whole helmet and the rest of it I was pretty happy with, so I figured it was worthy of putting the rest of the work in. And I'm fixing that problem that I had with the Bondo. Now, I, I've done a lot of different types of work in my life, and I did concrete. And the first thing my boss says, if you don't know how it's supposed to look on uh, uh, on this side of the street, go to the, just look to your left. And what you do is you mirror the other side. So all I got to do is look at this side, because this side's right. This is perfectly lined up. I had no problems with this side. So all I got to do is look at this side and go back and make my sanding adjustments. So I built it up with Bondo and I just do a little sanding. I go back on this side to, to see if I'm, get, I'm getting close. And let me tell you, if you take it nice and easy and use that method I'm telling you, it won't even look like you screwed anything up. That's the great thing about Bondo. Now, in some spots, you're going to have a little thicker than others, but once you get the hang of it, you know, and if you see this th this video, go ahead and look at my other tutorials. I got I got more info on it, but uh, I think the next time I make a video on my helmet will be when I'm farther in, when I'm just about to paint it. So I'll I'll do a video during my painting and stuff. Nope. Actually, correction. I'm gonna actually do a, do a little video tutorial on uh, on, on uh, evening out the rest of my problem with my uh, visor. Now I got my visor mounted in, but I got this little gap here, and I don't want to fill it in with something soft. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up mixing some resin in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fill it in the rest of here, and I'm gonna go ahead and do some scuff marks on the the little inside lip here, so that the uh, the resin when it hardens it attaches to the visor and, and it makes it more part of the helmet. And my idea for that is I'm going to paper mache the inside here to, to build up a base so when I pour in the resin it doesn't pour out. That that's my idea. So I'll make a I'll make a tutorial on that, a video tutorial on that, and then after that tutorial I'll go ahead and I'll 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 do it on the, the painting process. I'll you know well, as I'm doing it. So, spray paint is fine. There's nothing wrong with spray paint. You can actually go ahead and uh, do a lot of really cool things with spray paint. And it can, you know. You don't, you don't need a gun, but if you're, you're, you're well skilled with using an airbrush, by all means, uh, the other best thing you can do, especially with this stuff, since it, we're doing a military look, Stencils are fantastic. You can make your own stencils. Just find a pattern, cut it out, and then all you got to do is lay it, lay it over and tape it off and spray it. And if you don't like it, sand it and uh, and, 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 and try it in a different spot. You know, that, that's, my little, that's my bit of information on painting and sanding at the moment. I'll catch you guys later.